augmented reality, virtual reality, immersive reality. While really good for, say, video gaming and entertainment, have a lot of practical value to manufacturing, design, layout, architecture, you name it. They don't have to be separated. Business solutions, enterprise software can still be valuable but interesting and kind of entertaining. somebody comes in here, we don't pitch them ideas. We show them what VR is, we show them what VR is capable of, and we show them what we are capable of. And then they start explaining to us what kinds of problems that could be solved. VR fills in a really interesting gap because it allows people to go places for the first time that they couldn't go before or do things that they couldn't do before. We are putting this technology literally on the heads and hands of people who, in some cases, have never even played a video game before. So we have this idea called the Atari approach, and that means we boil everything down to one button. And that one button does all of your functions. People are already in a new environment that they've never been in before. It's completely unfamiliar. So to burden them with more than a handful of buttons, it cripples the experience for a new person. That approach sounds too simplistic to most developers, but it is why we're successful. There are many things in VR that will let you express yourself in ways that traditional art mediums haven't been able to do so far. If you can produce an expressive piece of art without needing to buy paints and brushes and canvas and paint thinner, that will allow you to get to the process of creation easier. For us, our goal is to continue to expand and grow uh, and really be the company that defines what enterprise virtual reality looks like.